In the last video, we added an entity reference field to attach blocks to an article. Now, I mentioned that there's two ways to display attached blocks. One, using views, which we already did, and two, using the filters block module. The module allows you to display fields on a content type as a block, hence the name field as block. It is considered a lightweight alternative to using views. And as we saw in the last video, Doing this with views requires a bit of configuring. So let's now look at setting up filters block. Let's start first by downloading and then installing the module. And what I'll do to download the module, I'll use Drupal console. So here I've got my terminal and I'll simply type in Drupal module colon download field block dash dash latest. Okay. So now that we've downloaded the module, let's go to extend and just search for field as block and install the module. So the module is pretty easy to get set up. All we need to do is go into structure, block layout, and scroll down to the sidebar first region, the same region where we placed the previous block that we created using views and click on place block. So the module implements three blocks, one for these three entity types, content, taxonomy term, and user. So the one that we want is content. So click on place block and uncheck the two checkboxes under title. And from the field dropdown, make sure you select node.field underscore blocks. This is the field that we created in the last video, the entity reference field. And leave formatter as rendered entity and just uncheck link label to referenced entity. And in the visibility section, just check article so that this block only gets displayed on article content types. Then click on save block. Move the block to the top and, and with the block that we created in the previous video, just select none. This will simply disable the block from showing in the sidebar. And if you scroll down, you can see that it's in the disabled section. Then just click on save blocks. Now let's go to the home page. And if we click on the article with the CTA, you will see that our CTA block appears. If we go back to an article without a CTA, nothing appears. And if I just edit this one and put in a CTA, let me put in the second test one, the reference CTA now appears on the left. So that's it. That's how you use filters block.